okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now a train approaches a station and sounds a horn of constant frequency number 1 and constant intensity number 2 an observer waiting at the station detects a frequency that is f obs and intensity i obs what are the changes if any in intensity and frequency as the train slows down now this is the most important part of the questions which uh, we generally forget to read and forget to note it down now first of all this question is from the chapters of wave from the topic of doppler's effect i would say Firstly, the topic in itself is a higher level topic. It's a very difficult topic to understand, number one. Number two, this question is even further. It's, it's one step ahead of the highest, like of the most difficult question you will ever see from Doppler's effect. This is one step higher even than that level. Okay, I'll tell you why. First of all, let us say the train is moving towards the observer and observer is at rest on the railway station so as per our formula is concerned now see the formulation is somewhat like this this is the original frequency f this is the velocity of sound the velocity of uh, observer divided by velocity of sound minus velocity of source so this is a general formula you can find it in any book or on google anywhere you can see this now our observer is at rest so there is no question about the observer he is waiting on the railway station but the train is moving towards the observer so the distance is reducing so i would say that v is the velocity of sound and vs is the velocity of the source that is the velocity of train so both of them we are now reducing it so the frequency observed by the observer will be more than the original frequency now one thing is sure that f obs is more than the original frequency but train is now slowing down so this velocity is slowing down it means the factor the denominator v minus vs is now increasing its value because velocity of sound is constant but velocity of train is reducing train is slowing down so this gap the denominator it had certain value but now it is reducing the gap because it is reducing the frequency will keep on increasing this frequency that observer is having uh, will keep on decreasing i'm sorry this frequency will keep on decreasing because denominator is increasing with respect to time so if the denominator is increasing with respect to time the frequency that observer is observing will keep on decreasing so our answer will be this okay so this is another variable that they have introduced here now what about the intensity intensity because earlier the train was very very far away obviously the sound was not that loud but once the train is in front of me on the railway station at that time it is just in front of me and honking is such such louder that i will say that yes the intensity is increasing so our answer will be d now why i have told you that this question is i would say like uh, one of the most difficult question why because there is another factor here that they have added the train is not moving at a constant speed in earlier questions we have always used vo as the constant velocity of observer and vs as the constant velocity of source but now the velocity of the train is not constant it is decreasing that is the new factor they have introduced so with respect to time with respect to time the frequency that is observed it is decreasing and sometime later it will become equal to f naught when the train stops at the railway station so i think i should be very very clear in this question even now if you have some doubts remaining or you are like confused something please do let me know in the comment section this is professor varun please subscribe to my youtube channel all the best bye